Hello everybody, Dan here. I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the script editor. And uh, as you can see, I have Mace open here. And let's go ahead and zoom to the Afghan village that we like to use a lot. Okay, before we get into the script editor, I'm just going to lay down a few entities here. And uh, once we have those down, then we'll start um, learning about all the things that we can do using the script editor tool. So first I'm going to bring in a car, put him right there. Take the waypoint and just kind of drag it out. Let's add some more waypoints on him. Just like that. I'm going to use my IG view just to make certain that I'm good. few waypoints I can shush over a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Could turn that off. And lastly, move the car where I want them. Okay, so now we got this car. We can uh, put a guy in there. And let's go to humans, add an Afghan civilian right next to him. I'm going to have this guy attach to the car. And he's in the car. Okay, so we got a driver there. Zoom back out a bit. Okay, so let's open up that IG view again. See where the waypoints are for this guy. And right around the last waypoint, I'm gonna add a few passengers. That is the last waypoint, yes. And one, two, well, I'll make the last guy somebody different. Four. Okay, so we got a few guys over there. We can just get them out of the road so they don't get run over. All right, so we got our stage set, and all I'm going to do is take um, this car, drive it up to the waypoint, and the guys are going to get in. And uh, well, shoot. Let's uh, let's make that car actually go somewhere. They're gonna get in and want to go for a ride. Let's actually make them go somewhere. All right. So I'm gonna add a one more waypoint for our car, and we'll just put that further down the road. Put one more after it so it doesn't change direction when it gets to the end of the road. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty decent. Turn my IG view back off. All right, so we have the car down here. We have three Afghan civilians waiting to get in. Now let's talk about the script editor. It's under Entity Controls. You click this button here, Show Script Editor. It'll bring up this window. Now some things about this window. Uh, the way I like to keep this straight is that this box is what this box is if, and this box is then. So the what is, what is the name of your script, you know, just an overview of what, what it is so you can organize them. And then you have your if statement, and we'll show you some examples of, of some things that you can use as an if statement in order to trigger an action, which is your then afterwards. So in this case, we're going to trigger an event, which is the uh, Afghan civilians will get inside of this car when it reaches waypoint four. So let's go ahead and start doing that. All right, 
So I'm gonna going to uh, add script. I'm going to say get in car. That's going to be my script there. The trigger is enabled. So that means uh, whenever the event that I want to occur to make this script happen uh, occurs, then it's going to make the action. I can click that off, and that will essentially disable the script. So let's go ahead and add a trigger. So for this one, it's going to be waypoint arrival. We can do in route to a waypoint, uh, you know, when, when the guys get close, we can do it that way. So if this car starts getting within so many feet, um, of these guys, they'll run to the car to, to attach themselves on the inside. Um, but in this case, we'll actually have the car stop at waypoint four and uh, the guys will get in. So waypoint arrival of this guy. Bring that back. To waypoint four is going to be our trigger and our action will be a few things. So um, we can have oh, formation, sorry, and attach to car number three underscore two and that'll apply to the Afghans and I'm just going to use the drop down menu here to add them because I know that it's not this guy this guy was actually added to the car as the driver so four five and six are going to be added so I got those guys in there but the thing is we got to get the car to stop so what we're going to do is Well, there's a few ways we can do this. I think the best way to do it is to have the car go ahead and stop at waypoint four. So I'm going to add another action. I could have made another script just saying for the car to stop, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the car stop, then the guys get in, and then we go off. So basically, I'm chaining all these actions off of one trigger, which is the arrival at waypoint four. So in this case, I'm going to tell the car to stop. So uh, speed to zero, and that applies to the car. Okay, now see, he's at the bottom there. So the, these events, how they're gonna happen is, this guy's going to say, um, this line here is going to say to attach to that vehicle, and then the car stops. But f we want the car to stop first, so we're gonna move that up. So car stops and then these guys get in but you know the more we think about it we actually want just a little bit of a delay so I'm going to add a delay in there of five seconds I'm going to move that in between these two actions so the car stops we wait five seconds the guys get in and let's go ahead and add another delay of um, five seconds And then the last action will be for the uh, the car, which we already have in here. We'll just add him to that. The car to proceed to the next waypoint. Zero for the next waypoint. Enter intent. We want the speed to go to uh, 20 miles an hour. So here's some things that we can do in the, in the script editor, but at the same time, we, we still have this architecture for using all the waypoints. So what I'll do is I will tell the vehicle, you know, I could have told the vehicle at the start of the mission to go 20 miles an hour, but I can also do that here. That's the thing about Mace. You can do a lot of different things different ways. So in this case, I'm gonna give him a, a route of 20 miles an hour. So from the get-go, he should start out. And I can also script certain things to happen. So at waypoint five, just right clicked on waypoint five there, I'm gonna add an action to stop.
And again, I could have done this different ways. I could have said his leg speed going from waypoint 5 to his last waypoint would be zero. Um, you, you figure out your own way of doing these things quickly. I could have done it from the script editor saying waypoint arrival is the trigger and the action is to go to zero. In this case, I just decided to use the uh, old waypoint method. You can mix and match as needed. All right, so um, I have this set up and um, the key to using the script editor is to run through things. So I, I would save this mission. Um, and if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to record this whole dang thing over again. And uh, we have our script ready to go. Let me actually bring that up one more time. So we can actually see it in progress. Move that off to the side. And move my Versic view out so we can follow the car. And press play. Car is moving down the road. Bring the script window back over here so you can see it. So while this is going on, I can tell you some other things. These triggers can be uh, an or event or an and event, meaning that multiple things have to happen um, before the action happens. So you use a little bit of logic on this. Um, so you can say um, the car is near the civilians and one of the civilians is dead. Then we do all these actions, for instance. And uh, there's a case where you can say that if something happens and it doesn't continue to happen, you can persist that as being met um, for your conditions there. So you, you can really get complicated with all the various things that you want to do. Uh, so going back to what we've got going on here with the car, the car is almost to waypoint four. And let's see if my script works. If it works, the status should say met here. Met. There we go. So we got executing, completed, executing. We got our delay of five seconds. And hopefully, okay, our guys are getting into the car. All right. Now we have our delay of five seconds, and then it is going to proceed to waypoint uh, five, I believe, and then come to a stop.